Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm coming to you with some tips for pale skin. And as you may have noticed and see right now, I am pretty pale and I have had hard a hard time to find products that suits my pale skin. And I have looked and looked and looked and now I have some things that works perfectly for me. So I'm going to share them with you if you are like me pale and have a hard time to find products. So the products I'm going to show you is foundations, concealers and contour shades. And that is the thing that I think is the hardest to find when you are pale. I can start with myself and say that I am, I have a porcelain or ivory, I don't know what is correct, but I have a very fair skin tone with natural undertone. And the problem I have found is that very many foundations that are for very fair skinned, fair skin are usually pink undertones. And if I put something with pink undertone on my skin, eh, I look pink because yeah, that's what happens. So I'm going to show you something that suits me very good and I think all of these products, they have other undertones. So I'm going to show you the things with my neutral undertone. And I have three foundations. I have tried other foundations, but these three foundations, I, I love two of them. One is okay. So this is just some tips. We can start with the one I just think is okay. And that is the NYX Total Control Drops. Total Control foundation and I have in the color pale and this is super pale this super many people love this foundation and I do not do that I use this to mix other foundations that has the wrong undertone because this has the right undertone I can use it on its own but I don't I don't like it at all on its own it doesn't suit my skin. I have dry skin, so it's it's not good for that. But this is a super tip if you like matte foundations, or I think this is going to be like a satin foundation. And this is very, very light. Then we have one of my favorite foundation in it's the ordinary serum foundation. I have in the color 1.0 NS, so that is a very fair natural with serum liver highlights. And this is I wish that this would be a little bit lighter, but this sinks into the skin and blends really good with the skin. So even if it is a tad too dark, you can still work with it because it's a light coverage foundation and it go very good with your skin if that makes sense so it looks like this and this is a very fluid foundation a very lightweighted and it's so nice to have on and this is perfect for my dry skin because i don't need to set this with powder so this is a super tip for your your pale people with dry skin out there really love this and this has other different other undertones as well but i have the natural undertone and the last foundation is from a Swedish brand that is called TK and this is a mineral foundation. And these foundations, I think there is five or six different undertones. And I have the natural undertone and the lightest shade. It looks like this, so this is also very, very light. I really love this one. I used to mix this with uh, this one. So I mix these two and that's the perfect color. So if you are paler than me, this on its own would work fine. So if you want to try a mineral foundation, try TK. It's super, super light and it's amazing foundation. And then a little tip when it comes to foundation by lightning drops. I have tried some different lightning drops, but this is my absolute favorite. And this is from H&M. It's the Costume Color Drops Lightning. And this is white. White drops. And you drop it in, I think one drop is a half shade lighter. I don't remember, but I think it is. And 
this doesn't mess with the foundation at all. It doesn't make the undertone weird and it doesn't make the formula weird. So this is like the best thing ever. I really love this one. This is the best tip I have. So you can buy whatever foundation you want to and just take one or two drops with this and you are fine. So then we can go into concealers and I think it's really hard with concealers because I want them a little bit lighter to lighten up underneath my eyes but it's hard to find. I have no trouble finding the one that suits my skin perfectly but for that little extra it's hard. My best tip I think is Makeup Revolution or Revolution and it's the Conceal and Define. This is one of the best concealers I have ever tried. And I have the lightest color that is C1, but I also have the white one. So if you have a concealer that is too dark, you can use this white one. I can use this white one on its own and that says a lot. And these are super great. It's a really nice concealer and they are vegan. And I can really recommend this. It's cheap as a fudge as well, so that's really good. Then one concealer that is very, very light, but I don't like it, and that is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I have in Fair 02. I think they have a white one as well, but I think this is the lightest one. And I don't like this because this is so drying. It dries down in like two seconds so you have to work so fast with this so I don't really like this at all but it is a light light color and then the newest concealer for me that is my super favorite is from the Swedish brand Viva La Diva and this is their concealer with argan oil and this is amazing it looks I think it looks a little bit darker than this but this has a pink undertone and it's really good to have underneath your eyes. I can't have this on my face, but I can have it underneath my eyes because it's it takes away the dark circles because I'm tired. So this is a really, really good foundation and it works perfectly with my dry skin. I really love this one. And it stays on so good and you don't feel it because it's very a lightweighted concealer but it does its job and this is in the color pure light and then we're going to contour and I don't do heavy contour and I don't bronze or anything I just use a little bit on my underneath my cheekbone so I have four contour powders to show you and it's just preference what you like if you want much or little or day to day or yeah what you want so i'm going to show you these four and the first is this was super popular a couple of years ago and it's from nyx and it's their high definition blush in the color taupe it looks like this it looks pretty dark but it's it's super good this is so good for contour and this is if you want a little bit more of a contour or a little bit darker contour this is perfect and if you want a little bit of a lighter contour and you have a natural undertone or a warm undertone i can recommend this this is live triangle from makeup geek and yeah if you just want something and this is a little bit warmer i think it's the warmest i have but this works great as well. Then my newest favorite is from NYX and it's from their... It's from this palette and I think this is Sculpt. Uh, I'm not sure but I think it's, it's here. And this is what I use like every day now and I love it. It's there but you don't see it as much. I have it on today. And this is my absolute favorite when it comes to contour. For me, I you can buy this alone if you don't want to buy the whole palette. And the last one is from Nabla and this is Gotham. It's their Shade and Glow series. If we compare this to the Makeup Geek, this is a little bit colder. So it's just your preference. 
I like them both. And then my last little tip. This is an... <laughs> this is a palette and this is the one of my absolute favorites. It's the Linda Holberg Infinity Palette. It looks like this. And when you look at this, and I'm going to tell you I use one of these as contour. I think most of you is going to think that I'm using cigar. I do not. I use <laughs> Muffet. And that maybe seems a little bit what to some of you, but this actually <laughs> suits me really good as a contour. And this is a very light contour. Lighter than the one from NYX, lighter than all the others I have shown you. So this is if you maybe are a little bit afraid of contour or if you want just something on your day-to-day -day life that is perfect. So that was all my recommendation for pale skin. If you want me to do more of these, uh, I can totally do it, but I don't know. Like blushes and highlighter are not hard to find. I don't think it's hard at least. I have a lot of blushes and a lot of highlighters that I love and I have never had a problem to find them. Foundation and concealer has been the hardest for me, but this is a little life savior. I love this one. So I really hope you liked this video and if you have some products that are super good for very fair pale skin, please let me know. So. I can try something new maybe next time and if you like this video please press like and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!